Well, one of the other things I really like to do is I use the uh, SoundGrid server to host um, DSP-based plugins from Waves in a way that decreases the amount of latency. And also for ease of use, using the Studio Rack plugin, you can host plugins here and I save it as a preset. They all come up in one go, so you're not having to load up a bunch of different plugins. So this right here, for example, is kind of a basic mix bus um, setup that I would use. You know, the Kramer tape, um, the Puig Tech, um, and an L3 max multi-maximizer. And to give you an idea of what that sounds like before and after, here I'll run part of the track again. So for me, the, the combination of having Studio Rack be able to have a stack of plugins that I can call in with one preset is great. And not only that, but the fact it's all DSP hosted and the latency gets lowered. So that way, if I need to do a last minute drop in or overdub on something, I don't have to go turning off a bunch of plugins in order to be able to do it in a way that doesn't feel like the singer's singing, you know, 10,000 samples behind the beat. Um, I also use it a lot, like I said, when I'm tracking, like I have a preset here called distorted vocal tracking, which I can load up and, you know, to be able to record a vocal through Manny's uh, distortion and also the H delay where if you put that on a track and try to record it'd be impossible because the latency would be too much but having it in studio rack and having it on the sound grid is incredible um, it makes it so that way you can create a really vibey vocal sound that you know is hopefully inspiring to a singer and then you can record through it and then tweak it after the fact you know because it's all DSP based um, you're not committing to it on the way in but you're still getting the benefit of being able to perform with it, which I think is key.